as you saw, I have already finished the, you know, you know virtually finished the outside door architrave as well and uh, pre-painted it so it's nice and easy. So once those buddies of the screw holes dry up, sand it down and I just have to patch it and it's all good and finished. And the color of the architrave, of course, is the same color as the roof and the uh, fascia of the roof as well. So it's all nice and matching. As to the inside, I've done the ceiling, two coats of it, so it's all finished and dried up by now. And then to the cornices, if you recall, I did plan to actually color it, the, uh, the red color, same as, as my featured wall, um, all the, skirt, uh, the skirting as well as the cornices. But uh, yesterday I had a visitor, um, you know, uh, he's a retired builder. He's been sort of uh, guiding me here and there. Uh, it's been very, very helpful. So uh, he came in to check out on how things are going and he's got a ute. So he was able to um, help me out to get all the skirting. So I've got all the skirting now. So they were not, they were about like uh, five meters long. Um, yeah, just over five meters, 5.2 meter long skirting boards. Um, I got the long ones so that way I don't have any sort of joints. You know, um, my room is about five meters wide, so it fits just right. So no joints. Uh, yeah, he delivered in and had a look and I, we, we talked about the colors and whatever. And he said, well, you should really leave the cornices white because that belongs to the ceiling, not to the wall, you know, from his experience. He said, the only time that you would paint the cornice as a different color, if you actually have a featured ceiling, a uh, different color or some sort of uh, fancy ceiling that you've got, um, or you have a chandelier uh, with, you know, with a chandelier, um, you know, a big base of the chandelier that you paint, and that's when you might do the cornice as the same color as well to enhance it. And plus you said you have a feature wall at the back. That means it's just not going to look good. He said, leave them white. Um, you can surely do the skirting the same color. That will define the floor and the wall. But uh, you know, the difference in the color already between the wall and the ceiling, you know, defined by the white corners so would be sufficient. Otherwise, it will be just too red too many definitions, it won't, it won't look good. So I took his advice and I did uh, the cornices white as well and I just finished the second uh, coat of it and it looks good. So all is left now is the three walls that I gotta do first and then finally the feature wall. I have also installed now the vents um, of the uh, exhaust. So that's the outtake where it's connected to the outside exhaust fan and then that's the intake right there. They're all, they're all connected and at the same time they have seal. So all the edges are sealed with silicon so the only air that's going to go through is through the vent so it's all sealed from from underneath and of course to thank Vic the retired builder with all his help I did hand him yesterday a nice bottle of wine for him to enjoy because the weather uh, here in Sydney this time of the year is quite cold it was freezing you know he came last night so um, he was quite grateful, so uh, I hope he enjoys it.
Today the place smells like fresh paint. So um, all three walls have been painted as you saw. And today is the day I'm going to be painting the feature wall, the red one. So you get to see it. And just a note, um, yesterday as I was cutting the, um, the skirting boards in, you know, miter cutting with my circular saw, you know, I finished everything, uh, all, everything, all the pieces have been cut, including the door architrave for the inside uh, door as well, and everything. And the last cut, ew, I thought, <laughs> I thought the circular saw had it stopped, but obviously it hadn't. So I was just pulling away the uh, a piece of the last bit of uh, wood away. The next thing you know, it just touched it. It looks big, but really is not. It's just um, you know it scraped uh, the thing and it's been bleeding. So um, I've just been to the. Uh, uh, medical practitioner today and she just sort of wrapped it up and said uh, you're fine you don't need stitches or anything so it'll be fine just keep it dry for a couple of days and then you'll be you'll be okay so yeah <laughs> I built the whole place without any um, incident or accidents and the, the last cut the last cut I can't believe it I must have been sort of just the last bit end of thing saying okay no more cutting finished and just my finger just sort of just touched it here we go phone's ringing gotta go Did I choose a good color? So um, it's all painted finish. So the whole room is now painted from ceiling to all the walls. So um, let me know what you think of the color. Did I choose the right one? Write a comment below. And let me know if I did make the right decisions or if I did a good job or not. You know, it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty good. I managed to do the corners uh, just good enough. I mean, um, the tiny bit thing if you're really, really picky. Um, other than that, I mean, there's going to be uh, base traps in the corners anyway, covering them up. So it's not that you'll be able to see. It's only very few 
bit and pieces, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But uh, overall, the wall looks really cool. Now, down to the floor. Next thing is getting the floor installed. piece that I'm going to put in there. Obviously it's wider than what I need so I'm going to measure the end and cut off this side because as you can see that white line there you can see on there I'm not sure you can see it. That's a sticky tape so that's the tape that's going to stick onto the green part of uh, overlapping underlay there. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I just cut a straight line, fold it over once everything is all correct, then I'll peel off the, uh, the tape and stick them all together and ready to put the boards on. direction rather than this direction across because it just gives the room um, a bigger feel because of the lines but when I did stagger them what I found that it only gives about uh, 200 millimeters at the edge which is not really enough for it to be a stable connection so on this side at least as you can see it's got at least half the width, uh, the length of the actual um, board to be cut, to be put in. So, uh, so it is um, that direction it, it's got to be. I've got uh, no other choice. So I'll just keep going on this direction. I'm sure it will still look good. Just that, um, yeah, lengthwise would have been much better. But just the size of it. Anyway. Laminated boards. It's easy, they said. It just clicks in. Where you go? Yeah, right. Um, it's taken me quite a while to get used to into putting them in. Um, I mean, it's not that hard, I guess, once you get the hang of it. But really, usually the last bit that you want to put in, and you have to click it two ways, it gets really hard. Click and go. Yeah, right. Anyway, I just keep going. space so I can um, sit on it and then just quickly clamp on it. Yeah, click and go. Well, 
I am in my last two rows of uh, the panels, so that will fit correctly. Except the last row, it's about um, 20 millimeters um, wider than I need to, so it's going to be a bit of a cutting to do. That'd be it. So not bad. I think it looks really nice. My first meal in the house. This is probably the first and the last time I will eat anything in here because uh, I will have a policy of no food. Sure, you can, we might have drinks. I don't know. Maybe a barbecue. I don't know. Whatever. Now I gotta eat this. Um, I'm having steak with purple cauliflower and some hummus to go with it. So it's got nice vegetables and things. So it gives me all the energy that I need. All good stuff. I've only got the last row to do. And after that, um, the only thing will be left is the skirting.